Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, let us work with API headers. Headers are available in both request and response. It lets the client and the server pass additional information with the request or the response. We will see three ways of setting headers in SOAPY way. Headers are an important part of REST API request and response. We usually get lots of information from the headers and sometimes need to check or test few things in there. Important headers like authorization tokens, status code, etc. are used in testing debugging REST APIs. So let us see how to set the header parameter in a request. The first option is of course manually typing in the header option. Let's see for example for our Go REST project where we need to type in the headers in, in our request. So for example for creating a new user you need to put in this accept application JSON and of course the authorization bearer we need to provide. So for example, if we go to our REST API project in SOPY and you see the request here, we need to provide the header option, which is missing here. And if I do a request, this should fail with authentication failed because I haven't put the authorization. So the first easy way of doing is putting in the authorization, just copy and put the authorization in here and I can copy the my beer token which I already got from their site and I paste it okay I need to type the word beer in here so B -E -A -A space so you see here we got the response after providing the authorization in this case we already know the authorization beforehand and this is how you can do it by manually typing it the second option of course is putting this token is a custom property in the so project here in the project level and custom properties and i provided the bearer token in here token bearer and then in the request i can use the variable in here I'll delete this and I will use our variable definition hash project level and hash token and close the curly braces and this should work okay so this is the second method of providing the bearer token uh, from the project level also you can do the same thing from the test suite level here if you see here in the test suite level in the custom properties i have i have provided the bearer in here in the custom properties for the test suite level similarly you can do this from the test case level as well but in this case i'm not providing it for gores project we already know the bearer token already so i can provide it in the project level or test suite level and so once i go to the test case and if you see here in the test case rest api request i am using the test suite level property in our test uh, request so these are the two methods easy methods of providing the header from manually typing it or putting it in the in the project level or test suite level or test case level this is good if you already know the token for our gores project we already know the token or it's already provided to us but in case of where you don't know the token beforehand in that case for example i need to do another api request to get the bearer token in that case the token becomes dynamic and you don't know that beforehand so let's see an example with one of my small application in here which I have already imported in SOPY. So here if you see my request, this request gives me the bearer token. I'll do the request and you see it gives me the bearer token as a response and then my API request will use this token. So for example this I will delete this one and then if my get request will need the token to get the information from the server so if i do without the token 
it will throw me an error saying missing authorization header so what i need to do is i need to use this token and put it in the header for this request so what i'll do authorization and i will go ahead and copy this whole token from here okay and copy come back to our get request and i paste it here and then i do the request i get a proper response now so in this case we don't know the token beforehand so i'll show you how to write a test case using this method of api request and response so for uh, we need to use the property transfer so let me add a test case for this i'll just name it as test suite one test case one and it's a login request and i need a property transfer and i need to add the request for getting the users add to test case test suite test case one okay and okay i'll close this for now and coming back to our I'll minimize this coming back to our request so this content type application JSON is already defined here and this is our username and password and I do a request in here and I get the bearer token and then I move on to the property transfer I will add a property transfer called the bearer transfer and what I okay so I'll close this for a moment we need to add this token in some test suite level or project level so for now let me add it to the test suite level test suite level come to the test suite and just click on the test sorry just click on the test suite and click on custom properties and add a variable called token and we'll fill it from the property transfer step property transfer login request and the rest property is response we need to take the response and where it should go the target the target should be test suite and what is the property token whatever we have defined in the custom properties and before writing the json path let's come back to our login request and let's try to get the s get the json path for this response so let me add a json path match and add and let's test it wow let's build the json path actually dollar and then we need to see what it comes so the whole thing comes the whole response comes here so we can do a dot and authorization we need to take out only the bearer and this whole string in here select from current dollar dot authorization and we got this whole thing we'll just copy this whole string and we'll cancel it actually we don't want this one we'll just remove and we come to our property transfer step and i paste it here we're trying to take out the bearer and then the string whole string and this is a json so i need to make a json path and i do a run and looks like our transfer is successfully done then i'll close this i go to test suite level and click on custom properties and see that it's populated so coming back to our get request which wherein we need to populate the header and we it's already populated from our earlier test i'll delete this one and we'll type in the test suite hash token okay and we just check it once and we'll see that it's fine now so when you run the test case when you run the test case the first step will get the request and the second uh, step which is property transfer will take out the response will take out the bearer from the response and put it in the header of the get users api request in here so i'll just run this once and see that it ran successfully fine so this is how you can do it you can of course 
in the property transfer you can of course add it at the token in the project level or test suite level based on your needs if you want to generate a login request for each each test case or or the whole project based on your requirements you can add it anywhere and the in the request you can change it accordingly in the header section from where you want to pick from the project level test case level or or test suite level so that's how you can transfer or add headers in soap ui thank you